Once we're finished with the rehab estimator, we want to move into the analyzer and take a look at the numbers. Uh, first thing we want to do is go to the financial data tab on the analyzer and make sure that our repair costs are reflected here. So we have a, about $9,300 I put in in the repair estimator earlier. And uh, we'll also want to come down here and note uh, the, excuse me, the down payment right here on the initial purchase. There's always two sections to the buying process or the financing process uh, on a loan if you're going to hold the property. So there's the initial purchase, which is usually a hard money deal. And then if you're going to hold the property over time, it's probably going to be conventional money at a lower interest rate and lower points. But for the purposes of this, we'll just put in a 20% down for the hard money. And then that should uh, flow over. And we also have 1200 in rent <clears throat> that theoretically we pulled earlier from our rentometer or uh, the, the other and now I'll come over to the financial analysis page. So on the financial analysis page, the thing, we want to start by noticing that there are three columns here that reflect three different uh, major strategies. One was wholesaling, the other buy and sell, which is otherwise known as fix and flip, and then buy and hold, which would be more of a long-term strategy if you're planning on holding the property uh, over, you know, for three, five years, whatever it might be longer. And we then have our costs broken down into sections. So we have our buying costs, our carrying costs, which would be the period of time that we're holding the property during remodel, let's say, or getting it ready for rent. Our selling costs, which are uh, self-explanatory for when we sell the property. And then the fun stuff down here. So we've got our, our strategy recommendation based on the finances of the property. We've got a starting offer and maximum offer for the three different strategies. You can see how it all breaks out right here. We have this wonderful offer guide, which gives us the sweet spot. The gold section here is the sweet spot. The red section here, or a burgundy section, would be a price too high for for us to make any of the money we're looking for. And this blue section here is probably going to be hard to justify to the seller why we're offering them such a low price. So this is our sweet sweet spot right here where we can justify it and where there's enough profit in here built for us. We have our initial LTV, loan to value, uh, that the property's at. Uh, the different costs we can anticipate out of pocket for closing. Uh, our estimated fair market value, what a fire sale price would be. So if we had to move it quickly, what would we be able to, usually this is 10% less than the estimated market value. A price we would sell it as, uh, on a wholesale basis to a fix and flipper, so they had enough room in there to make some money. And then our uh, return of costs, our estimated profit that we'd like to make, and then our return on equity. So how much money we have into the property in total and what our return would be. So uh, a pretty inclusive uh, little calculator here to help guide us. Very, very powerful analytics. There's not another piece of software out there or platform out there that we're aware of that goes into this depth. And this is just, we're just starting to scratch the surface here. All these figures, of course, are, are fueled by the initial, when we do the initial configuration, which we covered earlier, populate these default fields. But we can still go in here and individually uh, field by field tweak this if we so choose to reflect the uh, scenario for this particular property so if the property isn't exactly in our sweet spot uh, so our costs vary we can actually come in here and uh, change these prices the costs that we're going to experience so that they accurately re reflect uh, all of these offer strategies and offer uh, guides here for us. It's very, very powerful and a wonderful way to demonstrate to the seller that we're not just pulling a number out of the air. It's actually hardcore numbers that we're basing our offer upon. And that's whether it's a bank or a private individual. If we're planning on doing some kind of a hold, uh, then here's the buy and hold summary where we can get into our uh, estimated market value and closing costs. We have a little 10-year pro forma in here to give us a quick snapshot. Not very inclusive, but again, just a quick snapshot. We'll have a much more inclusive one in a moment. We also have a bunch of indicators that are auto calced for us. We got cost per square foot, monthly rent per square foot, debt coverage ratio, annual the gross rent multipliers, uh, cap rates, uh, total raise and return. This is not exactly totally reflective of the reality because we haven't really filled it in in total, but it gives you a sense of what we're talking about. And we have our cash flows graphed for us as well. So if, we, if you're visual and you really want to see this graphed out, then this is a great way to express that. Here's a, a very detailed uh, buy and hold pro forma. Let me pull this over here. So we have a buy and hold performance, and we break this down to much more detail, much very granular. So we have our income, our expense categories, our uh, income analysis, 
our loan analysis, sale analysis, and our net profit ultimately is reflected down here on a year-by-year -year basis. Up here is our years. And as we slide this bar to the right, you can see that so does our annual. So if we wanted to see how this was going to shape up in, let's say, year 10, we could just go over to here, look at our year 10 numbers, and uh, see very clearly based on our assumptions what we can expect our uh, property to be performing like in year 10. Similarly, with the buy and hold amortization table, we can see annually as well as month by month, loan payment interest portion, principal portion, loan balance, uh, property value based on an appreciation rate that we put into the uh, financial data tab, uh, equity or loan to value as time progresses for refinance purposes, how much money we can pull out. We have a, a multifamily rental thing, so we can put it up to four different kinds of units to calculate our rent. A lease option scenario, so we can calculate our lease option pro forma. And we can even generate a HUD-1 statement here, uh, which is very handy when giving it to a seller or a bank to show how all the costs break out. And this is all driven automatically and auto-completed based upon the configuration table when we do the HUD there, as well as edited here on the HUD-1 data tab as well. So very, very powerful, great way to substantiate anything that you're doing, great way for you to determine for yourself which properties to pursue, which not, based on seller attitude and how flexible they are in their uh, thinking. And uh, you have a much greater chance of success if you can go to the seller and present hardcore facts on how you're arriving at your numbers and not just throwing a number on the table based on some random percentage that the seller would have to buy into where you can actually show that uh, you've done your homework, you've got the numbers to back up your assertions, and you're there to help them. Again, instilling confidence in that seller that you're the one who will get the job done ultimately. Very important, particularly when you're competing against others for a similar, you know, for the same property. So uh, we're we love these calculators. Uh, everything in here is transparent. You'll notice when I click on here, up in this bar, all the numbers show, all of the formulas, I should say, show on how that was calculated, which is very valuable if you're a, you know engineering accounting type and you really want to understand how these formulas are derived, then it's all transparent. One of the things that we uh, have, a, one of our pet peeves, is a calculator where you put numbers in one side, there's sort of this black box thing where a bunch of calculations go inside that are hidden and then spit out an answer on the other side and we have no way to determine how what went into deriving that answer. Uh, this alleviates that whole problem so you can see exactly what uh, how each calculation is calced uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, it's why accountants and engineers and people who have uh, who are real detailed math individuals really love our products because uh, we really hone in on, on the detail on the math. That's it for the analyzer for now. Much more detail in the tutorials, but at least it gives you a pretty good idea of the power uh, that you can harness. And you don't have to be a, a math whiz to generate this. So this does all done automatically for you. You just have to know what the numbers are up front, which of course are furnished to you by your contractors, your, uh, your support team that you've put together of uh, attorneys and title companies and lenders and realtors and property managers and whatnot. So all the heavy lifting is done by the professionals who you surround yourself with, and then all the math is done right inside these little calculators to help you uh, do a very, very thorough analysis and know what you're getting into to minimize your chance for loss and maximize your chance for the profits that you're hoping for. Uh, next up is the calendar.